In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the internal rate of return using a Sharp EL738 calculator. And the best way to do this is to just jump straight into a worked example and just do it practically. So very simple example, we have an investment of $100,000 which produces the cash flows shown in the table. So, first step we're going to clear the calculator's memory. This is always the first step and this is the best way to clear it. If you use the CA button it won't clear the cash flow memories so that's no good. So use this way of clearing the memory. It's far superior. So you're going second function then M clear which is on the alpha button zero and zero to clear the memory. So now we can be very confident that all of the memories are clear and previous um, calculations are not going to affect what we're doing now. So we can move this down a bit. So next step we're going to enter the cash flows into the calculator. So um, using the cash flow convention you know you've got um, negatives for investments. So if money is in a sense going away from you you're going to make those cash flows negative and money that's coming to you you're going to make those cash flows positive. So these cash flows will be positive and the hundred thousand will be negative. So let's go away and enter all of those cash flows very simply. So start with the investment first. That's going to go into the cash flow zero. So the pl this plus minus button at the bottom gets you the negative sign. So put in a hundred thousand. Right. We're going to put that into the cash flow memory. You just press the enter button. The manual says data, but really just think about it as enter, and that's into the cash flow data set. So let's enter the other cash flows in exactly the same way. So we've got 10,000, enter, 7,000, enter, 12,000, enter. They've got this nice uh, apostrophe that helps you type these in quickly. 19,000, enter, and then a final cash flow of 109, so maybe we sell the investment, enter. So that's all our cash flows in the memory. Now we can do the calculation. So we have to access the internal rate of return function that's built into this calculator quite conveniently. So second function, then we're going to cash, which is on the CFI button in the second function. We've got this rate here, and if we just press the comp button, it'll do the calculation for us, and it gives us 11.18%. So there you go, there's a worked example of internal rate of return using the Sharp EL738 calculator. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and thank you very much for watching.